Hello, every, everyone. Uh, greetings from Opit Blast. Um, yeah, there's another webinar. We are here for that. This is the English session, and um, it uh, it is nice to be here. And to one that will probably be the uh, last webinar of uh, of this year. I want to to thank all the partners uh, of Opit Blast that uh, always support us on our um, webinars and we started these webinars after the COVID-19 pan pandemic and we started with Opit Blast uh, course uh, about our software then we we made a webinar with uh, regarding the app and uh, analytics so we showed all the platform then we last month we did a, a webinar on the OPIT Dev or Borehole Deviation Measuring System, and uh, this uh, last webinar of the year we are presenting um, a theme. A subject is uh, Mine Two Mill, and is brought to you by OPIT Engineering. Okay, so i i want to uh, introduce this this department is our technical services and uh, research uh, department and if you guys uh, have any doubts you can al always write us and um, i hope that uh, you guys are excited with this uh, team and that's it i will introduce now herald florencio the manager of opit plus engineering and um, let's let's start with the webinar. I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning. My name is Eraldo Florencio from Opit Blast, and today I will make an introduction to a relevant term in all this mining industry called the mining to mill. Mining to mill principles of application in aquarium operation is the subject of this webinar. And the basic principles will be approached and its application query will be demonstrated. In short terms, this webinar can be summarized in four topics divided in what is mining to mill, difference between traditional optimization and mining to mill approach application and all these topics will be divided in subtopics that will appear as this lecture process progress the first question is what is mining to mill mining to mill can be understood as the optimization of the mining value chain to achieve the minimum cost of the final product taking in consideration the full operation without compromising safety and the environment. Traditional operation focus on cost reduction by optimization of individual processes. Seeking to obtain the minimal cost of the final product by optimization individual processes. Not taking in consideration the global operation cost per ton of processed ore. In the mining to mill strategy, the global cost of the processed ore per ton is obtained by optimization of the value chain on its integral process, also taking in consideration safety and the environmental. As an example, Increasing the powder factor improves the fragmentation that leads to reduction in energy consumption at crushes in milling operations. As opposed to traditional optimization, where normally the cost in drilling and blasting implies lower powder factors that will lead to increasing energy consumption on further processes. And how does it all begin? Historically, the concept of mining to mill is linked to the power and development in computers that make possible the development 
and the application of the first fragmentations and the combination models. Model integration and robust computational simulation and data analysis makes possible the mining to mill concept to be applicable on mining sites. So it all started in 1906 with the advent of advent <coughs> of the use of computers. In 1969, at congresses, presentation of topics on geological reserves, geostatistics, open pit, and undergrounding mining planning. Early 1970s, with the first mathematical models for mining. In 1980s, JKR MSC scientific research development of a model that responds to autogenous and semi-autogenous grinding processes. In 1983, the Kuzan model on its first version is made public. It was based to further developments in fragmentation model modeling. In 1984, one of the first studies addressing the mining to mill methodology. 1990, continuous development of comminution and fragmentation models. The first case studies on large scale can be traced to early 2000s, and it can be said the mining to mill will be an integral part of the industry 4.0 with massive data analysis and model plus autonomous operations. Query application. On this section, I will describe briefly the basic steps involved when this methodology is applied in a query situation. Establishing a value chain. One of the first one of the first steps involved is to determine the value chain. It's done by, by making possible the modeling of the operation and later its optimization. Auditing the value chain. Second step steps is settling a baseline, taking consideration the actual state of the current operation before any optimization is done. So how you do it? Here in our company, the normal practice is to survey the bench and drilling operation by using drone, 3D lasers, and our own development in whole inclinometers called opit depth. After laser profiling the free face, we import the information to our platform. Opit Blast software, where you can have a 3D model of the bench and designing the drill plan. After drilling the holes, length and inclination of those holes are audited with our hole inclinometer called the Opit Dev. Especially for the front row where holes are placed nearer to the free face and needs to be taken in consideration to avoid undesirable outcomes during blasting. Inclination and hole length of uh, the holes can be inspected at real time by our application and it's full available on mobile phones. Charging Audit. Drilling charging is a key factor on the value chain. Blasting is the first stage of the breakage and, it's also, and it must to be as designed. So, to make sure that the charging kept in control, we make use of the opit blasting ATP to input charge to input charge hole parameters that can affect the blasting performance. All data acquired 
can be used to Cartier interpretation and it's a key factor for the continuous improvement. Blasting audit. Video recording by drone and the vibration monitoring allow us to make sure that the blast disturbance is kept as planned. Post video blasting analysis allow us to make continuous improvements. Fragmentation analysis is the key for modeling the blasting. First blasting operation. First blasting operations of load and haulage, efficiency and crushing energy consumption and the productivity are studied to leaking it to the fragmentation outcome from blasting and for calibration of the models. Onset the value chain is identified, and information from each part of the processes is acquired and the statistical analysis treatment is done. Now it's time to model each ring in the chain. Models are created and calibrated in days to fill the data. It's done to make sure the model is able to satisfactorily explain the processes that is created for. This way, the fragmentation curve to be predicted, the blast outcome will be used on the load and haulage model to predict its efficiency and will be used also on the crusher model to predict its productivity and energy consumption. Fragmentation model. The first operation to, to be modeled is the fragmentation from blasting. For this task, several models can be used, but on the following example, our option was for the Kuzra model as seen in 2005. That was, that was later reviewed by Thin, Alt Terloni, and Sanchidria. On this model, rock characterization, blast pattern, explosive parameters, initiation systems, and its dispersion can be used to predict the blasting outcome. Calibration is very important to make the model attached to the reality and the statistical level, at the statistical level. Excavation efficient model, efficiency model, sorry. To link fragmentation from blasting with load and haulage productivity, a model created by San Chidrian is used. On this model, the energy from blasting is used to predict the productivity of excavator, where there is an optimum energy that makes the equipment work as its best performance. Lower energy from blast will promote coarse fragmentation that will decrease efficiency. As well, to multi energy from blast will generate a so reduced fragmentation that the efficiency will be decreased. So, it's obvious that there will be a certain level of energy where the efficiency will be the best. Crochet model. 
The convolution circuit is represented by a Crochet matrix model with selective circulation. And its mathematical modeling is in accordance with Wythen and Lynch. For energy consumption, the third convolution law can be used. Crochet model is also calibrated for both a product and energy consumption. Integrating models. A global cost function. Now that we have all models determined and calibrated, it's time to optimize the value chain. To obtain the minimal cost of the final product by integration of all models. For this, it is necessary to create a function that estimates the global cost per ton as a sum of individual processes. And after determining the minimum value of this function. To determine the minimum value of this function, it is necessary to make use of stochastic models. In this case, Monte Carlo method is used due to its simplicity and the robust results. Burden, spacing, stem and subdrilling are used as inputs for the Monte Carlo simulation. And those inputs are represented as probabilities function in the model. Every set of those parameters are used to create a possible blast. And this, this blast will generate a fragmentation curve that will be used for excavation, haulage, and crusher model. The associated cost of individual operations will be used to compose the global production cost of ton. And after several iterations, is performed, the minimum global value is determined. Application example. As an application example, the information for a specific operation is used on the method mentioned before to determine the minimal global cost. So here we have uh, some information about the rock characteristics, planning, fleet, and crusher. And all this is used as input in the stochastic model, and after several iterations, is created a minimal global cost model. So here, <coughs> after 100,000 interactions, the minimal cost is determined, and possible savings can be calculated. Here we can see that the powder factor increasing leads to cost reduction due to fragmentation improvements. As a result, we can see that we are increasing in drilling blast by this amount will lead to a reduction in excavation and the transportation and crushing by these values and the economy per ton will be 7.43% and it represents for this particular situation uh, annual economy 
of uh, 600,000 per year. Also, we can see uh, energy consumption reduction in the order of 54%. So, if you all have questions, please, we kindly ask you to address us by email, by access, by access engineering, arroba, .com. Thank you, Heraldo. Um, thank you for the, the webinar uh, presentation. I hope you, you guys um, enjoyed. Um, and I also have to, to tell that, as usual, we will do uh, a drawing of, uh, of some uh, Opit Plus gifts. So let's see, I will share here my screen. Let's see, let's see who is the, the lucky person today. So Ayan Demirel from Demir Coz. Um, congratulations on your on your gift. Um, it's it will be one uh, one uh, Christmas gift <laughs> if you celebrate Christmas. And uh, and that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoy us uh, sharing our knowledge and and a little bit of what is our our work, <coughs> our, what Opit Plus does. And um, and it's it's approaching the the holiday seasons for those who who celebrate these these holiday seasons. I know that uh, a lot of people also and a lot of our customers are in uh, operations, uh, some sometimes uh, far away from their families. It's not uh, um, something easy, but uh, just to remind that you have a, a goal, and we are all together on this. We have our, you have our, our support to make your work better and to try to, to make a, um, a better industry like this type of investigation. And, and that's it. Uh, it, this will, it will be a different holiday seasons, all because of these circumstances, but I always remind that uh, our best gift is our health and uh, our family and loved ones. So that's it. This will be the last webinar of this year. And uh, next year we bring a lot of um, news, like for example, new software, underground software, some nice and new solutions. So you have the contact of Opit Blast Engineering, you have our contacts. Feel free to write and, and, and uh, to ask us anything. And that's it. It was a pleasure to be here. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>